Deciding to move to another country is the first part of the journey. Once you begin to make the move, you realize that the pieces to the puzzle are many. We must be very careful that we come here to contribute, to give, and to fulfill our purpose. Welcome to my journey, my life. Now I believe I can be all I dream, the connection to destiny is me. Hey everybody, it's Ty Inspire and welcome back to episode two of My Journey, My Life. I'm so happy to have you back here today and uh, let's talk. What concerns me most about Ghana is the attitude of this is how we've always done it. Um, and I think that that is mainly because, or I, I should say a lot of people have that attitude. I think a lot of it is tradition, you know, culture and traditions, which is not a bad thing necessarily, but it concerns me because I wonder if we have, or if Ghanaians have the mindset to move forward, if they are thinking, well, we gotta keep doing it this way because this is how we've always done it. And that doesn't leave a lot of room for change. And so that's what concerns me about it. Do I think that it's just a big issue? Not at the moment, but I think that it could be in the future. So I think that's what I would say is my biggest concern. All right, so there are so many people from the diaspora that are moving back to the country and that are moving to the country for the first time. And they have this question. They wanna know how they can improve Ghana. Or at least I hope that most people are asking themselves that when they come home, okay? And when they come back. I think that one way, I think the obvious ways is setting up businesses and NGOs that will benefit not only those who are coming and those who are just new, new and arriving here, but those who are already here and then bringing our money here, you know, and making sure that we buy from each other. I think that is um, one thing that I know I've seen in America that's a big problem is that our dollars are not staying within our community. And so here, we wanna make sure that the money is staying here. You know, the community thing is a little bit different in America, but that we are not buying so much from outside, but we're supporting the people that live here you know we're buying locally as much as possible and that's going to help us out a great deal right a great great deal um another way is we can also bring our ideas and new concepts um, as long as we have people that are willing to support them i think that that is definitely going to be a benefit to us and also encouraging others to visit Everybody is not going to move here and shouldn't move here because it's just not the way that it's gonna happen, you know? But we definitely can encourage more people to visit and to spend that vacation money vacationing here, you know? And not just about spending the money, but it's also about having that experience and about, you know, just, just visiting places that have people that look like us. You know, I think that's so important because it's a whole vibe, like it's a whole thing. When you come to a country that is full of people that look like you, that's pretty amazing. So if we can convince others to at least visit, that is also gonna be a way that we can improve Ghana. This is a really good question, guys. I mean, you guys know that I said, even in the first episode, that Ghana has taught me patience. And it has, um, but I think I kind of sit on the fence when it comes to how I handle situations that I feel are just inappropriate or or just bad. You know, um, I think you know. For me, what I tend to do is I make it known that my expectations are different from theirs or from whatever, you know, depending on the situation. Um, 
I think that's important. We can't just not say anything. We can't be passive. I see that a lot here, where people are just passive, where they don't wanna rock the boat, or they just, you know, no, it's so fine, it's okay. But it's not okay. And until we start speaking up for ourselves and we start saying, you know, I didn't like that, that's not okay, or I expect you to do this because this is what you said you were gonna do, you know, uh, until we start doing that, I don't think that we're gonna see anything different. So, you know, as far as being patient, you know, there is a line there. Like, we, we should be patient, but we should also be assertive, you know, and we should be um, intentional with how we are handling these issues and these situations. This is definitely a very good question as well, I think. And it's something that I think about all the time. I think if we stick together and we show unity, and there's strength in numbers, so we show unity and we keep pushing for the changes that we want. Um, because like I said, I know for me, I'm not here to just make improvements for myself, but I'm here to make improvements so that everybody can be happy and comfortable. And as long as we have the right attitude and we have the right um, goal and intentions in mind, if we unify and come together and keep pushing, I think that we can get our voices to be heard. Um, I think that it has already happened in so many different areas. So it's possible, even with the government, you know, I think that we can do it. Yeah, I do. Um, hmm, I think I would say the thing that comes to mind is maintenance. I think I would change the way that we maintain things or that we don't maintain. <laughs> there are so many great ideas and so many wonderful things that happen. They build like this beautiful tourist site, right? And then it just, Nobody maintains it, and so it's just trash, <laughs> you know? I think that we really have to do a better job at that because the things that are here are good. Um, so we just need to add to it. But we can't add to it because we're gonna be busy trying to fix the things that, that were already put in place that I think were really nice and really good for the, the country, or for, you know, for the city of Accra and for the country as a whole. I'm sure that there we have the same problem and not just Accra, but all over the country. So yeah, we've got to maintain some of these things that we have here and so that we can continue to build on that. So I think that's the thing that I would change is like, why is that not happening? Whoever's hand this is falling in into, I think that it's probably several people that are responsible, um, not just the government, um, but we have to do something about that. So, yeah. I think I'm most passionate about improving the mindsets of people. I think that's where it all starts, you know? Um, we, we have to have several different changes that happen in the mind in order to grow and to become a better and stronger people, okay? Um, and so that is why, you know, another plug for my NGO, one of the things that I'm going to be working on, one of the programs that I have, I'm starting with the youth because I think that's where the future is. So. One of those programs is to help to change that mindset of the youth so that they're not just taking in all of these, you know, old thought processes, but we're also putting in some new thought processes with it. And we can mix the two and have a good little combination <laughs> that should work very well. I think that that's what we need. So um, yeah, changing the mindset is very, very crucial. Not just for, you know, us as a people, and as a country, but individually too. And in your individual lives, you have to have, yeah, it starts with the mindset. It starts with your mind. So that is, that's, that's what I am most passionate about.
Thank you for watching episode two. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments what you think. These are some really heavy issues that I talked about today. So let me know what your thoughts are. I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to answer back. So please do so. Also stay tuned for episode three. We're gonna be talking a little bit about my journey into music. Some of you already know that I'm an artist and um, I've been doing some singing and gigging here in Ghana. So yeah, so stay tuned for that episode. It is gonna be great. We'll see you next time in episode three.